welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, let's balance some equations. So let's get started, okay? Step one I like to do is just draw a line down the middle and then count atoms. So let's go ahead and start. We have zinc, and it looks like we have one, okay? Remember, uh, anytime you have a capital letter, that means you have a new element. We have hydrogen, uh, and we have one of those, and then we have one chlorine, one of those. Okay, let's do the same on this side. We have zinc, looks like we have one. Uh, hydrogen, remember a subscript applies only to that element. We have two of those, and then it looks like we have two chlorines. So now I begin with the metals, and then I go non-metals, and then I go other, including hydrogen. So it looks like the metals are balanced for right now. Hydrogen, we have one on this side, two on the other. So the only thing I can do is I can add a coefficient to the beginning. Okay, so I'm going to apply a coefficient here. So that means we now have two hydrogens, and we have two hydrogens, so they're balanced. But now the chlorine, when we multiply two times one, we have two chlorines. Uh, and guess what? It's in balance. So there it is. All we had to do was add a 2 right there. Okay, let's work on another one. Okay, so now let's try this one. Draw a line down. Let's count atoms. Um, we have um, iron here, and so it looks like we have one iron and two oxygen. And on the other side, uh, remember the 3 only applies to the iron, so we have um, three on this side, and then we have four oxygens. Okay, so let's start with the metal. I always start with the metal first, and we have three on three on this side, one on this side, so I can add a three to multiply it by there. So three times one is three. So now the metals are balanced, but now let's look at oxygen, and we have two on this side, Four on the other. So what I do next is, what's the smallest number These both of these numbers will go into? And that is a 4. So if I multiply 2 times 2, that is 4. So now that is 4. And it looks like we have 3 and 4. So again, pretty simple. Um, and it's balanced. Let's try one final one. Okay. Last one. Draw a line down. Let's separate the elements out. Okay, let's count. We have one potassium. We have one chlorine. We have three oxygens. Now on this side, let's do the same. We have um, potassium, chlorine, and oxygen. We have two potassium, so I'm going to write a two there. It looks like we have chlorines. We have one here and one there, so we have two of those. And then we have four oxygens. So now let's see what's balanced. Well, let's start with the metals. And um, we have one and two. So I'm going to multiply this by two. So this becomes two. But now the chlorine becomes two. And then two times three, okay, two times three, that becomes six. So the potassiums, chlorine, they're all balanced. But now I have a problem with the oxygen. We have 6 and 4. So again, I go back to what's the smallest number both of these numbers will go into, and that is 12. So I have a subscript of 3. 3 goes into 12 how many times? And that is 4. So I'm now going to have to change this to a 4. So 4 times 3 is, we have this as 12. Okay. So now let's go to the other side. 4 goes into 12 three times. So, But now we've got to reset because we have a different number in front. So now we take 4 times 1 because assume that there's a 1 there. So now we have 4 potassiums. We have 4 chlorines. And then we have 12 oxygens. Now let's see what we have on the other side. We have uh, 3 potassiums plus one, so we have four. We got pretty lucky there. And then we have three chlorines plus one, so it'd be three 
plus 1. So we have 4 there. And then we have 3 times 4, which is 12. So it is now balanced. Okay. And we had to add a 4 here and a 3 on this side. So in summary, I draw a line down the middle. I count atoms. I then start with my metals. Then I go non-metals. And then I go hydrogen or if you have anything else. I hope that helps. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.